Hey you guys, so today we're going to be doing three different looks using two Urban Decay palettes featuring these Blushberry Magnetic Lashes and Eyeliner. First, what I'm starting out with is Urban Decay's After Dark palette. I'm just going to take the shade Off Duty, that beautiful brown, and just apply that to the outer corner of the eye. Now we're going in with the shade Sinful, and I'm just going to place that right next to that brown. Now going in with Supersonic, we're just moving right on down that row, and I'm just going to place that right next to that gold. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette and I'm going to take that shade Element, which is that really pretty reddish pink, and that's going to go right into the inner corner. Now we're going in with Hank and Henry's Henrietta Liquid Lipstick and I'm just placing that into my waterline area. Now I'm taking the shades Scene and Alter from the After Dark palette and the shade Spectre from the Moon Dust palette. And those are all going to go on my lower lash line area. Just doing a little graphic liner using that same liquid lipstick. Now we're going to go in with our Blushberry Magnetic Eyeliner and Lashes. These are in the style Hide and Seek. As you can see, I'm not doing anything too crazy with this eyeliner. This was the first time I had ever tried these lashes, so I kind of wanted to just keep it very just calm. And besides, the graphic liner kind of adds the drama to this look. And then now we're going in with the lashes. And you guys, I was absolutely shook at how easy these applied. I have never tried magnetic lashes before, so this was new for me. And I was just like so impressed. These magnetic lashes would be a really good lash for a beginner to start off with because it's so easy. You just apply the eyeliner and then the lash and boom, they're, they're on there. I applied that same Henrietta liquid lipstick to my lips to kind of tie in that red. And this is the final look for look number one. So now for the second look, I'm starting off with the After Dark palette and taking the shade Paralyzed and placing that into the outer corner of the eye. As you can see, my lips and eyes were kind of stained from the look before, but that's okay. Now I'm going in with the shade Galaxy and a little bit of fringe from the After Dark palette. And Galaxy is going to go on that lid area. As you can see, I'm packing that on right now. And then I'm taking fringe and just applying that on the lower lash line area. I'm also taking Vega and just applying that to the lower lash line area as well. Now I'm going in with Hank and Henry's Cascada Liquid Lipstick and I'm just going to do a little bit of graphic liner with this look as well. Now for our Blush Berry Lashes again. I just applied the eyeliner and now I'm applying the lash. Easy as pie. I also applied that Cascada liquid lipstick to my lips and also used a little bit of Bite Beauty's Peacock Pearl lip gloss as a topper. 
adding a little moon dust moon spoon liquid illuminator by urban decay and this is look number two Last but not least, look number three. I'm taking the shade Lounge from the After Dark palette and packing that onto the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm going in with Lithium from the Moon Dust palette and just placing that right next door. Both of these palettes kind of have the same color scheme going on. They're just different finishes, if that makes sense. So I thought that these two palettes would complement each other really, really well. Now we're going in with Lightyear and I'm just packing that on to the inner corner. Going in with Propaganda by Hank and Henry and I'm just placing that on my waterline area. Now I'm taking Druggy and Backfire from the After Dark palette and the shade Magnetic from the Moon Dust palette and those are all going to go on my lower lash line area. Once again, applying our beautiful Blushberry Lashes. And with this look, I decided to kind of go for a more winged liner look. As you can see, I applied a little graphic liner using that Propaganda Liquid Lipstick, and I'm now applying that same liquid lipstick to my lips. Applying the same Bite Beauty Peacock Pearl Lip Gloss just to kind of tie in that greenish, bluish, oil spill kind of look. And that is the final look for look number three. I just want to say a huge thank you to Blushberry Beauty for sending me these gorgeous magnetic lashes and eyeliner. Like I said before, you guys, these are so easy to work with and great for beginners. So you guys definitely go give Blushberry a follow and check out their products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you like this. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Bye, you guys.